Hi Megan, few months in the family having breast cancer. Are the breast cancer cells genetic? What are the causes? Are there any tests to detect it? My role as a genetic counselor is to understand the genetics of a family, to understand the personal and family history of cancer, to understand your risk assessment, and help you with genetic testing and screening as and when necessary. But the most important part of my role is to make sure that this process is more convenient, well informed and the most beneficial for you and your family members. Now we know that most cancers, breast cancers in specific, are just random and sporadic occurrences and we may not know the cause for these cancers. And uh, as we know from studies that there are several factors that play a role in contributing to cancer and these factors could play a role in either as a combination or individually and at any point of time we may not know at what extent they may contribute to causing cancer but there is a small percentage of cancers about 5 to 10 percent that are known as germline or hereditary cancers especially in breast cancers it's about 5 to 10 percent now in these cases there could be a factor playing a role in causing cancer and this could be genetic in nature and it has been transmitted into the consultants or the probands from the previous generations. There are some very commonly known genes for breast cancer which are uh, BRCA genes or BRCA genes. Uh, there are BRCA1 and BRCA2 genes and these are very commonly known to be associated with breast cancer. Nowadays, because of advanced research, we have come to find out that there are more than these cancer genes that play a role in causing breast cancer. Some of them could be TP53, CHECK2, PALP2, etc. Any woman who has inherited BRCA mutations, we quote that the lifetime increase in risk of them developing a cancer may not be very well known. But in case of a BRCA mutation, it is much higher than any other non-BRCA mutations. Uh, this could be quoted up to uh, 60 to 70 percent. This could also vary depending on several other factors, including the extent of family history. In case of other uh, non-BRCA mutations that have been inherited, again there is a slight increase in the risk of developing cancer, although it may not be as high as BRCA mutations. And uh, this could be anywhere from between 15 and 50 percent, depending on several other factors again including the number of family members with cancer or breast cancer in specific or uh, other factors such as when they were diagnosed, how they were diagnosed and what were the causes for cancer. Now these women who do carry uh, BRCA gene mutations or other hereditary mutations, they may not develop breast cancer 100%. It simply means that they just at a high risk of developing cancer and uh, in comparison to other women in the normal population who may not have a breast cancer mutation. In cases of you considering yourself at a high risk for breast cancer, you would have to consult a healthcare professional, either a general practitioner or a genetic counsellor to understand your situation of uh, being at a risk of breast cancer. Now, you can consider this under any of the following circumstances. One would be in case of a family member who's already been diagnosed with a triple negative breast cancer under the age of 50 or a member who's already had a bilateral breast cancer, again under the age of 50. If there are two or more family members who've been identified with a specific cancer type, example, a two or three members with breast cancer itself or ovarian, or uterine. Other than that, we have uh, any family member who's been diagnosed with cancer at a very early age, as in below 50s. If there is a rare occurrence of cancer, uh, such as a male breast cancer, which is very rare. If there is any other cancer that has been identified in the family and it has been tested for and a mutation has been identified in it. Now, in any of these cases, you would consider consulting a healthcare professional to understand your situation so they can help you go ahead with risk assessment and testing further. Now, if you've already been diagnosed with breast cancer, your oncologist might have to ask you to continue screening even after treatment because there are chances of you uh, developing a second primary breast cancer. Uh, there is a way of identifying this mutation if it has been inherited and this can help you with further treatment guidance and avoiding a new primary. 
Now, if your family history is something that puts you at a moderate or high risk of breast cancer, then we would ask you to continue screening for breast cancer. There are several ways in which screening can be done and it can be started off at a very young age in cases of family members with a potential risk for breast cancer. Now, if you are at a very high risk of developing breast cancer, your oncologist might consider you go for a risk reducing surgery to avoid any further development of cancer or in case of a very high risk of uh, developing cancer in case of um, strong uh, hereditary mutations like BRCA1 and 2 the doctor might also consider uh, that you go for a risk reducing surgery for ovarian cancer as well you can consult your oncologist regarding any of these for further details uh, now if in this case where there is an increased risk of cancer there are very high chances that you could have family members who are also at a potential risk now in this case what would happen is we might be able to identify who these family members are and we could ask them to go for screening depending on how close they are to you, what is their relation to somebody who's already been diagnosed with cancer and what is their relative risk for developing cancer. Now in case of additional family members, the first members that we would consider are your first degree relatives. That could be your parents, siblings and children. Now in case of parents, if you've already been diagnosed with cancer, it's very likely that you have uh, inherited this mutation from either of your parents. In any of these cases, the chances of your first degree relatives developing cancer is a 50% chance. That's one in two. And in such cases, you can consult your oncologist and identify uh, whether you would need to go for a screening or a testing process. And if you've already been identified a mutation for it, then they can be asked to go for genetic testing for the same mutation that has already been identified. I think these are all the ways you can identify who is at risk for breast cancer and further testing and understanding can be done with the help of your oncologist or a genetic counsellor.